And uh, how close are we to the beach here? Yeah, you can see it. Oh, I haven't seen it yet. Oh, yeah. go walk into the street, middle of the street, you can see the beach. We should be on the beach right now interviewing. <laughs> Redondo Beach, I feel like, is the diamond in the rough. All the celebrities are moving to Manhattan Beach. Hermosa Beach is, you know, the party town. And Redondo Beach is just like this really small, forgotten about city. And that's part of the charm of the area, is that it hasn't fully been developed. It still has that, that aspect of, of really being one of those original towns in Los Angeles. we found that it was crucial to have a, a very nice entryway. Not only looked beautiful, but also took some of the attributes from the exterior structure, such as the board and bat from the second story, and brought it into the interior portion of the house. All those those aspects of those 1920s homes with those small bungalows where you see all built-ins and craftsman homes and everything like that, everything like that is coming back. Everybody wants built-in cabinets. They want breakfast nooks. That we used to be tearing these things out five to 10 years ago and now they're putting them on the plans. The homeowners want them. They love that look. It, it really creates just an aspect that makes people feel like they grew up in that house. By doing the, the, the lighter colored oak finishes and the lighter colored cabinets in such a large open floor plan, it really helps make the space still feel warm and big, but, but cozy at the same time. Now this kitchen in particular, I don't see a single person not loving. It, it just has so many of the simple things that really stand, make the house stand out and, and make it blend towards the rest of the architecture. You know, the white cabinets playing off subway tile and, you know, the countertops being prefab with the backsplash and the same color countertop using that on the grout with the, the basic subway tile just are really classic lines that give it a, a fresh new look. Almost all the bathrooms are just are, are very similar while a little bit different size and they all have a little bit different character to them with the, with the tile designs, but they're really nice. I really like the way everything turned out. I sat there and said, okay, well this lot is X amount wide. I wanna make sure that I build a home that is not only comfortable on the inside, but that works with the neighboring properties. The way I learned to do this was to be working with your neighbors and to look around and see what's going to work for the area that you're building. When the new homeowners move in here, they're gonna look and be like, wow, this was a beautiful house. We really like the small and fine details and the, the attention to those small things.